Hey, welcome back to Coin Chronicles. This is Bryce. I hope you are doing well. Today, we will take a look at World War II history from 1939 to 1945, and we will look at some coins from each year. We will look at each coin and the important details, such as mintage, grading, and inflationary value or purchasing power of the time. First, we will cover the history of the year 1939. In the year 1939, Hitler invades Czechoslovakia and Poland. Britain rearms and reassures Poland. Russia and Germany sign the Molotov-Ribbentrop Non-Aggression Pact. And Britain and France declare war on Germany. The Golden Gate International Exposition opens in San Francisco. John Steinbeck's novel, The Grapes of Wrath, is first published. Billy Holiday records Strange Fruit, the first anti-lynching song in the United States. The 1939 New York World's Fair opens. The newly sculpted head of Theodore Roosevelt is dedicated at Mount Rushmore. The einstein Zillard letter is signed by Albert Einstein on Long Island advising President Roosevelt of the potential use of uranium to construct the atomic bomb. This ultimately leads up to the Manhattan Project. The classic color film, The Wizard of Oz, premieres and is released in movie theaters across the U.S. The film Gone with the Wind premieres as one of the longest American films ever made. The prototype of the B-24 Consolidated Liberator Bomber first flies. And the yield sign, VU meter, twist tie, automated teller machine, and vocoder are invented. And the songs In the Mood, Moonlight Serenade, and Over the Rainbow are recorded and released. Now we'll take a look at a Walking Liberty Half Dollar a Mercury Dime, and a Lincoln Wheat Cent, all from the year 1939. The 1939 Walking Liberty Half Dollar has a size of 30.6 millimeters and a weight of 12.5 grams. Its composition is 90% silver and 10% copper. Its designer is Adolf A. Weinman. Its mintage is 6,820,808. Its inflationary value for the year 1939 is $11.03. Its numismatic values range from $18 in good condition up to $78 in brilliant uncirculated mint state condition. If I were to grade this coin, I would give it a grade of fine condition. The 1939D Mercury Dime has a size of 17.9 millimeters and a weight of 2.5 grams. Its composition is 90% silver and 10% copper. Its designer is Adolf A. Weinman. Its mintage is 24,394,000. Its inflationary value for the year 1939 is $2.21. Its numismatic values range from $2.61 in good condition up to $37 in brilliant uncirculated mint state condition. If I were to grade this coin, I would give it a grade of very fine condition. The 1939S Lincoln Wheat Scent has a size of 19 millimeters and a weight of 3.11 grams. Its composition is 95% copper and 5% tin and zinc. Its designer is Victor D. Brenner. Its mintage is 52,070,000. Its inflationary value for the year 1939 is 22 cents. Its numismatic values range from 17 cents in good condition up to $4.63 in brilliant uncirculated mint state condition. If I were to grade this coin, I would give it a grade of very fine condition. Now we will cover the history of the year 1940. In the year 1940, Hitler invades Denmark and Norway. Germany's Blitzkrieg takes place. Neville Chamberlain resigns. Dunkirk Operation Dynamo takes place. 
Italy enters war with the Axis powers. France signs an armistice with Germany. The Battle of Britain takes place. The Tripartite Pact is signed, creating an alliance between Japan, Italy, and Germany. The first McDonald's restaurant opens in San Bernardino, California. The 6.9 magnitude El Centro earthquake affects California's Imperial Valley, causing nine deaths and 20 injuries with a financial loss around $6 million. A fire at the Rhythm Nightclub in Natchez, Mississippi kills 209 people. The first Dairy Queen opens in Edina, Minnesota. The draft registration of approximately 16 million men begins in the United States. On November 11th, an unexpected blizzard kills 144 people in the Midwest. California's first modern freeway, the Future State Route 110, opens to traffic in Pasadena, California. And the Fluxgate Magnetometer, Military Jeep, and Antibiotics are invented. And the songs When You Wish Upon a Star, Frenesi, and the Woodpecker Song are recorded and released. Now we'll take a look at one Walking Liberty half dollar, one Mercury Dime, and one Lincoln Wheat Cent, all from the year 1940. The 1940 Walking Liberty Half Dollar has a size of 30.6 millimeters and a weight of 12.5 grams. Its composition is 90% silver and 10% copper. Its designer is Adolf A. Weinman. Its mintage is 9,167,279. Its inflationary value for the year 1940 is $10.96. Its numismatic values range from $18 in good condition up to $67 in brilliant, uncirculated mint state condition. If I were to grade this coin, I would give it a grade of about uncirculated condition. The 1940 Mercury Dime has a size of 17.9 millimeters and a weight of 2.5 grams. Its composition is 90% silver and 10% copper. Its designer is Adolf A. Weinman. Its mintage is 65,361,827. Its inflationary value is for the year 1940 is $2.19. Its numismatic values range from $2.61 in good condition up to $36 in brilliant, uncirculated, mint state condition. If I were to grade this coin, I would give it a grade of about uncirculated condition. The 1940 Lincoln Wheat Scent has a size of 19 millimeters and a weight of 3.11 grams. Its composition is 95% copper and 5% tin and zinc. Its designer is Victor D. Brenner. Its mintage is 586,810,000. Its inflationary value for the year 1940 is 22 cents. Its numismatic values range from 17 cents in good condition up to $3.38 in brilliant uncirculated mint state condition. If I were to grade this coin, I would give it a grade of uncirculated mint state condition. Now we will cover the history of the year 1941. In the year 1941, Italy and Germany attack Yugoslavia. Germany attacks Russia in Operation Barbarossa. Japan attacks Pearl Harbor. And Britain and the U.S. declare war on Japan. The Lend-Lease Law is introduced into the U.S. Congress, providing military equipment to the Allies. President Roosevelt presents his For Freedom speech during his State of the Union address. President Roosevelt proclaims an unlimited national emergency. General Douglas MacArthur is named commander of all U.S. forces in the Philippines. The destroyer USS Kearney is torpedoed and damaged by a German U-boat off Iceland, killing 11 sailors. 
the first American military casualties of the war. The destroyer USS Reuben James is torpedoed and sunk by another German U-boat off Iceland, killing more than 100 U.S. Navy sailors. In the attack at Pearl Harbor, a total of 2,403 Americans are killed and 1,178 wounded. President Roosevelt gives his infamy speech to a joint session in Congress, and the aerosol bomb spray, deodorant, acrylic fiber, and solid body electric guitar are invented, and the songs Chattanooga Choo Choo, Emma Paula, Pretty Liddy Little Poppy, and Maria Elena are recorded and released. Now we will look at one Walking Liberty half dollar, one Mercury dime, and one Lincoln wheat cent, all from the year 1941. The 1941 Walking Liberty half dollar has a size of 30.6 millimeters and a weight of 12.5 grams. Its composition is 90% silver and 10% copper. Its designer is Adolf A. Weinman. Its mintage is 24207412 Its inflationary value for the year 1941 is $10.43. Its numismatic values range from $18 in good condition up to $67 in brilliant uncirculated mint state condition. If I were to grade this coin, I would give it a grade of extremely fine condition. The 1941 Mercury Dime has a size of 17.9 millimeters and a weight of 2.5 grams. Its composition is 90% silver and 10% copper. Its designer is Adolf A. Weinman. Its mintage is 175,106,557. Its inflationary value for the year 1941 is $2.09. Its numismatic values range from $2.61 in good condition up to $36 in brilliant uncirculated mint state condition. If I were to grade this coin, I would give it a grade of about uncirculated condition. The 1941 Lincoln Wheat Scent has a size of 19 millimeters and a weight of 3.11 grams. Its composition is 95% copper and 5% tin and zinc. Its designer is Victor D. Brenner. Its mintage is 887,018,000. Its inflationary value for the year 1941 is 21 cents. Its numismatic values range from 17 cents in good condition up to $3.38 in brilliant uncirculated mint state condition. If I were to grade this coin, I would give it a grade of very good condition. Now we will cover the history of the year 1942. In the year 1942, the Doolittle Raiders bomb Japan. The Battle of Midway takes place. The Allies invade North Africa. The Battle of El Alamein and the Battle of Stalingrad take place. Sales of new cars are banned to save steel. President Roosevelt signs an executive order directing the internment of Japanese Americans and the seizure of their property. More than 200 American sailors die in Newfoundland when the USS Truxton runs aground near Chambers Cove and the USS Pollux runs aground at Lawn Point. Coffee and gasoline rationing begins in the United States. At the University of Chicago, a team led by physicist Enrico Fermi creates the first self-sustaining nuclear chain reaction. The Alaska Highway is completed and celebrated. However, it is not usable until 1943. The bazooka is invented and the songs White Christmas a string of pearls, and tangerine are recorded and released. 
Now we will take a look at a walking Liberty half dollar, a Mercury dime, and a Lincoln wheat cent, all from the year 1942. The 1942 walking Liberty half dollar has a size of 30.6 millimeters and a weight of 12.5 grams. Its composition is 90% silver and 10% copper. Its designer is Adolf A. Weinman. Its mintage is 47839120 Its inflationary value for the year 1942 is $9.41. Its numismatic values range from $18 in good condition up to $71 in brilliant uncirculated mint state condition. If I were to grade this coin, I would give it a grade of extremely fine condition. The 1942 Mercury dime has a size of 17.9 millimeters and a weight of 2.5 grams. Its composition is 90% silver and 10% copper. Its designer is Adolf A. Weinman. Its mintage is 205,432,329. Its inflationary value for the year 1942 is $1.88. Its numismatic values range from $2.61 in good condition up to $36 in brilliant uncirculated mint state condition. Now, if I were to grade this coin, I would give it a grade of about uncirculated condition. The 1942D Lincoln Wheat Scent has a size of 19 millimeters and a weight of 3.11 grams. Its composition is 95% copper and 5% tin and zinc. Its designer is Victor D. Brenner. Its mintage is 206,698,000. Its inflationary value for the year 1942 is 19 cents. Its numismatic values range from 17 cents in good condition up to $2.33 in brilliant, uncirculated mint state condition. Now if I were to grade this coin, I would give it a grade of fine to very fine condition. Now we will cover the history of the year 1943. In the year 1943, the Axis powers surrender in North Africa. The Allies invade and take Sicily. Italy surrenders, and the Allies meet in Tehran. This includes Roosevelt, Churchill, and Stalin. The Los Alamos Laboratory, Project Y, for the production and development of the first atomic bombs under the direction of Robert Oppenheimer begins operations. At the Casablanca Conference, President Roosevelt becomes the first president to travel by airplane while in office to meet with Winston Churchill. Shoe rationing goes into effect. General Dwight D. Eisenhower is selected to command the Allied armies in Europe. The Thomas Jefferson Memorial is officially dedicated on the 200th anniversary of his birthday. John F. Kennedy's torpedo patrol boat, PT-109, is rammed by another destroyer, and they are found by Solomon Islander coast watchers. The Great Depression ends in the U.S. with unemployment falling due to the war. The magnetic proximity fuse, modern coal-burning steam locomotive, and Slinky are invented, and the songs Paper Doll, You'll Never Know, and In the Blue of Evening are recorded and released. Now we will look at a Walking Liberty half dollar, a Mercury dime, and a Lincoln Wheat still cent, all from the year 1943. The 1943 Walking Liberty half dollar has a size of 30.6 millimeters and a weight of 12.5 grams. Its composition is 90% silver and 10% copper. Its designer is Adolf A. Weinman. Its mintage is 53,190,000. Its inflationary value for the year 1943 is $8.87. Its numismatic values range from $18 in good condition up to $59 in brilliant uncirculated mint state condition. 
Now if I were to grade this coin, I would give it a grade of extremely fine to about uncirculated condition. The 1943 Mercury dime has a size of 17.9 millimeters and a weight of 2.5 grams. Its composition is 90% silver and 10% copper. Its designer is Adolf A. Weinman. Its mintage is 191,710,000. Its inflationary value for the year 1943 is $1.77. Its numismatic values range from $2.61 in good condition up to $32 in brilliant, uncirculated mint state condition. Now, if I were to grade this coin, I would give it a grade of about uncirculated condition. The 1943 Lincoln Wheat Still Scent has a size of 19 millimeters and a weight of 2.7 grams. Its composition is still coated zinc. Its designer is Victor D. Brenner. Its mintage is 684,628,670. Its inflationary value for the year 1943 is 18 cents. Its numismatic values range from 17 cents in good condition up to $9.35 in brilliant, uncirculated mint state condition. Now, if I were to grade this coin, I would give it a grade of uncirculated mint state condition up to brilliant uncirculated mint state condition. Now we will cover the history of the year 1944. In the year 1944, the German siege of Leningrad ends. Rome is liberated. The Normandy landings on D-Day take place. Paris is liberated. The Battle of the Bulge begins and the German V-2 rocket, or the world's first long-range guided ballistic missile, is developed and used. In Start Bay, Devon, England, in Exercise Tiger, 749 American troops are killed. In Pearl Harbor's West Lock disaster, 163 men are killed. In the Battle of Normandy on D-Day, over 155,000 Allied troops landed on the beaches of Normandy and France. 4,414 Allied troops were killed, including 2,501 Americans. In the Hartford Circus Fire, more than 100 children die in one of the worst fire disasters in U.S. history. President Roosevelt wins re-election over Republican Thomas E. Dewey, becoming the only president elected to a fourth term. General George C. Marshall becomes the first five-star general. And the kidney dialysis machine and synthetic cortisone are invented. And the songs Swinging on a Star, I'm Beginning to See the Light, and Don't Fence Me In, are recorded and released. Now we will look at one Walking Liberty half dollar, one Mercury dime, and one Lincoln wheat cent, all from the year 1944. The 1944 Walking Liberty half dollar has a size of 30.6 millimeters and a weight of 12.5 grams. Its composition is 90% silver and 10% copper. Its designer is Adolf A. Weinman. Its mintage is 28206000 Its inflationary value for the year 1944 is $8.71. Its numismatic values range from $18 in good condition up to $59 in brilliant uncirculated mint state condition. Now if I were to grade this coin, I would give it a grade of very fine condition. The 1944 Mercury dime has a size of 17.9 millimeters and a weight of 2.5 grams. Its composition is 90% silver and 10% copper. Its designer is Adolf A. Weinman. Its mintage is 231,410,000. Its inflationary value for the year 1944 is $1.74. Its numismatic values range from 
$2.61 in good condition, up to $29 in brilliant, uncirculated mint state condition. Now, if I were to grade this coin, I would give it a grade of about uncirculated condition. The 1944 S. Lincoln Wheat Scent has a size of 19 millimeters and a weight of 3.11 grams. Its composition is 95% copper and 5% tin and zinc. Its designer is Victor D. Brenner. Its mintage is 282,760,000. Its inflationary value for the year 1944 is 17 cents. Its numismatic values range from 9 cents in good condition up to $4.63 in brilliant uncirculated mint state condition. Now if I were to grade this coin, I would give it a grade of very good condition. Now we will cover the history of the year 1945. In the year 1945, the Allies crossed the Rhine River to begin the final assault on Germany. The Russians reached Berlin. Benito Mussolini is captured and executed, and Adolf Hitler commits suicide. Germany unconditionally surrenders. Churchill loses the election. Russia declares war on Japan. The U.S. drops nuclear bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, and the Japanese unconditionally surrender. President Roosevelt is inaugurated to a fourth term with Harry S. Truman serving as vice president. A devastating tornado outbreak in Mississippi and Alabama kill 45 people and injures 427. On February 19th, about 30,000 U.S. Marines land on Iwo Jima. The famous raising the flag photo is taken. Off the coast of Japan, the USS Franklin aircraft carrier is hit by bombers, killing about 800 crewmen. President Roosevelt dies suddenly, making Harry Truman the 33rd president. As part of the Manhattan Project, the Trinity Test detonates the world's first atomic bomb. On August 6th and August 9th, atomic bombs are dropped on the Japanese cities Hiroshima and Nagasaki, codenamed Fat Man and Little Boy, both dropped by B-29 Super Fortress bombers. In Hiroshima, between 90,000 to 146,000 people died, while in Nagasaki, between 39,000 to 80,000 people died. Japan surrenders. The U.S. imports 88 German scientists to help in the production of rocket technology. The U.S. Senate approves entry of the U.S. into the, into the United Nations. The microwave oven, cruise control, and the block heater are invented, and the songs Rum and Coca-Cola tell the end of time, and Sentimental Journey are released and popularized. Now we will look at one Walking Liberty half dollar, one Mercury dime, one Jefferson War nickel, and one Lincoln Wheat cent, all from the year 1945. The 1945 D Walking Liberty half dollar has a size of 30.6 millimeters and a weight of 12.5 grams. Its composition is 90% silver and 10% copper. Its designer is Adolf A. Weinman. Its mintage is 9,966,800. Its inflationary value for the year 1945 is $8.52. Its numismatic values range from $18 in good condition up to $71 in brilliant uncirculated mint state condition. Now if I were to grade this coin, I would give it a grade of very good to fine condition. The 1945 S Mercury dime has a size of 17.9 millimeters and a weight of 2.5 grams. Its composition is 90% silver and 10% copper. 
Its designer is Adolf A. Weinman. Its mintage is 41920000 Its inflationary value for the year 1945 is $1.70. Its numismatic values range from $2.61 in good condition up to $36 in brilliant uncirculated mint state condition. Now if I were to grade this coin, I would give it a grade of fine condition. The 1945 S. Jefferson War Nickel has a size of 21.2 millimeters and a weight of 5 grams. Its composition is 56% copper, 35% silver, and 9% manganese. Its designer is Felix Schlag. Its mintage is 58,939,000. Its inflationary value for the year 1945 is 85 cents. Its numismatic values range from $1.60 in good condition up to $24 in brilliant uncirculated mint state condition. Now if I were to grade this coin, I would give it a grade of uncirculated mint state condition. The 1945 Lincoln Wheat Scent has a size of 19 millimeters and a weight of 3.11 grams. Its composition is 95% copper and 5% tin and zinc. Its designer is Victor D. Brenner. Its mintage is 1,040,515,000. Its inflationary value for the year 1945 is 17 cents. Its numismatic values range from five cents in good condition up to two dollars and thirty three cents in brilliant uncirculated mint state condition. Now, if I were to grade this coin, I would give it a grade of very fine condition. Hey, I really hope you enjoyed this video and found it to be interesting. For more videos, please like and subscribe. Thank you. Keep on collecting and have a great day.